happening there folks earthmaster here jumping in on the stream with an earthquake uh, update here for Southern California I'm here in Northern California about uh, 80 miles north of Sacramento and uh, getting some decals off to uh, quite a few fans here and I felt some shaking going on looking like uh, there's an earthquake coming into the Southern California region of 4.8 um, but man I, I could have swore I felt some shaking here just now uh, there is the earthquake showing up into the live seismographs there Southern California rocking the oh rocking the petrolia uh northern california station as well mammoth lakes getting in on the action i believe that's where this earthquake took place uh, but yes i did just feel an earthquake here in northern california uh, let's go ahead and check out some specifics of this earthquake uh real quick hold on it was kind of a rolling motion if you will uh shaking type not shaking but rolling Okay, we got two earthquakes, um, and I'm waiting to see if these get revised, folks. I think it was a little bit further north, uh, possibly, and much larger magnitude than what these 4.8s are showing. We have one 4.8 uh, near Leave. Ooh, there it is, 6.2. That's what I just felt. That's what I just felt is that 6.2 in Nevada. Uh, I was going to say, there's no way I could have felt that 4.8 even being down south of Sacramento. Hold on, I think I feel some more shaking. Okay, so I have a uh, an earthquake rock that I have from a string uh, from my ceiling, a piece of yarn. And that thing was waving back and forth. And I thought for a second it was my fan, but it stopped now. The motion has stopped, but it was it was weighing back and forth, swinging back and forth pretty good uh, just a few minutes ago when this 6.2 earthquake struck here. Uh, looks like specifics uh, on the California side, on the eastern crest here, uh, they, USGS has it listed as 32 kilometers south-southwest of Smith Valley. Now it just got downgraded to 5.9. So originally 4.8, this one right here in uh, the Central Valley may get revised. Of course, all of these may get revised. Who knows? Either way, I felt it up here in Northern California where I live. Uh, 5.9 is a pretty good shaker. Originally a six point, originally 4.8, upgraded to 6.2. Um, I just got a notification on the USGS here on my phone, 6.2. Did you folks fill it out there? Anybody here in Northern California fill it? Because I sure as heck did. I am, from where this earthquake is, I'm a good uh, couple hours. I live up here around Chico, California. It's well north of Sacramento. Uh, Chico, California sits right there, kind of towards the northern end of the Sacramento Valley. Uh, but man, I felt it. Good Lord, did I feel it. It was a waving motion so to speak not a jolt just uh, a waving motion and then i had my earthquake uh, rock up here it's just a crystal that i hang up on the uh, on a piece of string to see movement from my ceiling and uh it was swaying back and forth kind of like being on the ocean if you're on a boat that type of deal and then my internet went crazy for a little bit uh, uh i believe we're still live right I believe we are um so holy smokes let me know if you felt this earthquake folks and what you felt uh and how did it feel to you because i sure as heck felt it here in northern california 5.9 let's see if it's been reviewed um doo -doo -doo -doo. quite a few folks reported feeling it this was a weird earthquake it's automatic review so far originally a 6.2 folks um the epicenter of this quake south of carson city i felt it there's going to be a lot more reports uh, for sure, but it wasn't a jolt. It was a really weird, wavy, waving type floating um, feeling, if you will. And that, uh, man, was that thing swinging. It's right next to my computer so I can see it. I was sitting here sending off decals to a bunch of folks that uh, uh, are fans of the channel. And I'm sitting here on, my, on, on the computer desk and I could feel this thing just wavy wavy motion pretty crazy 
Uh, let's check out did you fill out responses. There's going to be a lot more than this. Way more, I'm sure. Uh, this is a pretty significant quake for the region. Largest earthquake we've seen in quite some time uh, in Northern California area. Well, I shouldn't say Northern. This is kind of like Central, right? I don't want to get into the politics of that, but looking historically, in this region, we just don't see a whole lot of earthquake activity on the eastern edge of the Sierra Nevadas. Uh, looking past uh, over the hundred and something years or so, not a whole lot of movement. But we have been watching quite a bit of deep movement around the globe and also earthquake activity. Uh, as you remember, you guys remember uh, over the past few weeks, past couple months, Lake Tahoe areas up here to the north, seen some uh, earthquake movement in this area uh, north of Truckee. Now we got a 5.9. This 4.8, if that holds true, that's going to be some. That's going to be a major player uh, in how much pressure is built up out here along the west coast. Right now, the 4.8 in the Central Valley is at automatic status, so uh, it's just an automatic um, preliminary earthquake notification sent out. But um, and then I think this one right here still says automatic. Let's see here. Oh, reviewed. Okay. So it has been reviewed. It looks like they're gonna stay and stick with the 5.9 magnitude quake. Um, and location-wise, looks like it's still south of Carson City on the California state line, uh, California state side, I should say, between Nevada and California, on the eastern edge of the uh, Sierra Nevadas, Colville, Topaz area. Let's go ahead and check out fault systems within this region. Uh, and there's no doubt, right? Sierra Nevada is built up by, by plate tectonics over time. Uh, what do we got? The Antelope Valley Fault Zone. Looks like it's just right at the end of it. Of course, it disappears as I move in. You guys can see the shattered red line here. It just looks like right about the south end of the Antelope Valley Fault Zone. Antelope Valley sits over here. Uh, Topaz Lake up to the north. Uh, man, I, it's crazy. I can't believe I felt that. Absolutely crazy. Uh, we've been looking at seismic activity calm down for quite some time here, but now uh, <laughs> Now's a different story. This is the all magnitudes. We're not seeing any uh, aftershocks yet. Looks like a 1.6 Earthquake prior to this 5.9 We'll see though folks. We'll see if this gets revised I think it may have been a little bit stronger than the 5.9 if you felt it if you felt it, let me know what it felt like. It came into the seismograph stations there pretty wickedly. You can see that showing up all over the place. Uh, Mammoth Lakes right there looks to be the closest. Showing up on Yellowstone. Look look at that. Yellowstone National Park picking up on this earthquake. That's why I think it's a little bit bigger than a 5.9. Um, of course, they weren't filling it up in Yellowstone, but I believe it's a lot bigger than the 5.9 earthquake. We'll see if it gets revised uh, once again for it showing up there. That's pretty significant. Um, Chile had a, a little earthquake right before our 5.9. There's a Petrolia station in Northern California picking up pretty good too. That's uh, near their Eureka area. But uh, Mammoth Lakes to be the winner when it comes to the closest signature that this earthquake struck, or at least this earthquake uh, put out there. We'll see. Uh, see if this gets revised. 5.9 showing up there on the globe. A 3.4 uh, afterwards. Pretty wicked activity taking place here in Northern California. Going to get this update video out to the channel. So stand by for one second. 